<laughs> what, a, what a way to start off this episode. <laughs> I, I'm glad I actually cut off at that. Yeah, just before this part. <laughs> this is the perfect way to start off a new episode. <laughs> Yes. Yes, saxophone can be really something else. It can it can be out of this world. That's how powerful saxophone is. Okay? Saxophone is important in life, okay? Don't ever underestimate saxophone. Okay? Saxophone is important. <laughs> I end up giving in to Senpai's request. I mean, she's cu also curious, I mean, <laughs> you know. So now we're sitting side by side, watching another movie together, DVD. Only this movie is of an entirely different variety. I guess it's the hardcore type, right? <laughs> the male and female actors are... Oh, right. Uh, but all naked. Uh, skin fills the screen. Wait, only the butt? Not, not anywhere else? Well, well, to be honest, usually whatever is depicted in a H movie is all exaggerated, okay? <laughs> yes, but if you want to act that way, by all means, you know, you can act all exaggerated. That, that's cool too, you know? <laughs> huh? Oh, uh, I, I don't know really. I've only seen videos of it. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me try to say this in Japanese. Ah, sa, do nan de shou. Ore mo gamen koshi ni shika mitta koto ga nai no de. I think it depends on the person. They probably exaggerate it a bit for you no know, porno, yes, definitely. But when it comes to porno, they definitely exaggerate it a bit just for the entertainment. Yeah. The actresses are only acting after all. Yeah, but you know, this they are acting, yes, but they have to get into the act too, you know. And really like enjoy it, you know? <laughs> ha ha, yes. <laughs> I swear this is healthy. This is healthy morning, okay? Alright guys, this is healthy morning. <laughs> okay, nothing wrong with this. Well, yeah, but it's real acting. Oh. <laughs> o face, Ona face. Uh, basically, something to do with the bato, yes. Ona means, you know. Bato, yes. <laughs> why are you why are you freaking the laugh, Shuji? Did, did, did she seriously just say that? Oh right. When Shuji said <laughs> I think he was like if he was drinking, right, if he was drinking he was he would have spilled that all that drink. Yeah, he would have spitted all that drink on him on her. <laughs> like, all the water came coming out. No, that's not an old face. Okay, it's not. <laughs> I don't know about common courtesy <laughs> in saxophone. But I mean, yes, there, there are some boundaries to observe and okay when it comes to saxophone. It all depends on the, the other part. Yeah, but I don't know about common courtesy, really. Um, <laughs> ah, hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, why are you talking? Oh, you don't have to do it! You really don't have to! Wow, wow! You don't have to do it! So you know why you don't have to do it! No, she needs to do it so that she can do it with you. 
and face is one you're meant to make natural at the end, like a special moment. You don't need to worry about it, alright? Ah hey, hey, hey. Ah hey, cow is why it's quite that piece. I don't think he would really want you to do it in Motoko. There are way more important things to worry about. <laughs> 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 so the what? You know, I, I myself still have to learn more about all the Sakshua terms. You know, when it comes to sa saxophone terms, right? There are like tons of saxophone terms. Like, yeah, even terms that are like beyond what you imagine. Not just terms, but also phrases. There are, uh, there are shed, shed ton of them, actually. <laughs> Like this one, another one, oh, double key sign, what? <laughs> Nobody ever does that either! Okay. Actually, just do whatever you want, you know. It, anything goes in saxophone, really. No, you don't. <laughs> what do you mean, Shuji? No. What do you mean, no? I would be weirded out if you did. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the insertion is basically the main cause, yeah? So once that's over, means it's over. Unless they go for round two, I don't know. But that's a repeat. But it can be done in another, in another position, so it never ends. No, I'm pretty sure that's more. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. How do you know it's called a paizuri? <laughs> it, it is, yeah. So, so this is name. It's been 20 minutes since Senpai and I started watching this porno. What, 20 minutes? And you, and you say it's a movie? <laughs> it's not. A movie is usually like about 2 hours long, right? This isn't even a movie. movie. They're only like 20 minutes in. Oh, the first scene just finished, so there's more to come. Uh, a lot, lots more, until the two hours are up. I thought we would have a beater, but the second scene gets right down to business. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to saxophone AVs, uh, there's no such thing as a break. <laughs> I've been unable to calm down this whole time. My heart is pounding out of my chest. Because you want to do it with her, maybe? Doesn't this thing have any sort of thought? They've been going at it the whole time. Are you seriously expecting a plot, Shuji? <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt so. That, um, yeah, uh, some rare exceptions, like very few movies, very few AVs with actual plots, but I'm pretty sure this is not one of them. I glance at the title of the DVD to check. Bukake! Super Sticky Giant Titsu! Special... Um, Com compilation. <laughs> Wait, it's a compilation. Oh, compilation means a lot of things. Really <laughs> yeah, like compile all the best, what the best scenes or what. Never going to get a chance to settle down. Senpai, are you? Aren't you embarrassed to watch this with me? I don't think she's embarrassed really. Because one thing is that she's watching it with you, and secondly, she's oblivious. <laughs> but I think more important is that. She's because she's watching it with you. That's why. That's why she's not freaking out or what. You no. Know? That's why there's this music too. Yeah. For special reason. Yes. Um. Maybe uh, when he's watching alone, probably not. But with you, probably. He yeah, I think he might feel a little embarrassed. <laughs> not not a little, it's a lot. <laughs> Incredibly! I was against us watching this together from the start. <laughs> well, like, he's doing it with you, you know? Because this is something you're meant to enjoy in private. Like, without other people knowing. 
I mean, yeah, you have Suji as a point there, but then again, um, why can't we watch it together? <laughs> it's really uncomfortable to watch this with someone else. I can set, set it down. Even with someone you love, Suji? I mean, with someone you love, I actually wouldn't mind, you know. It's to learn. <laughs> no, I, no, I don't think that's what Shuji meant. <laughs> nope. I, I definitely... Nope. That's not what Shuji meant. Like, how I can do that? I'm not into master in front of people. Especially not you, Senpai. What do you mean, especially not... Not her. Does that mean you don't love her? Come on, Shuji, you better be careful with your words now. Very dangerous, no? Does that mean you don't love her? I mean, when it comes to love, ultimately you need to start to Yes, there's no doubt about it. Okay? Love will eventually lead to Sasuke. Okay? If love does not have Sasuke, then something is wrong. So you Honestly... I don't think I could maintain and you know some something hard while being watched. Uh, how should I would put this? Okay, so master is a delicate ritual that requires a particular mental state. Doing it in an environment I'm unfamiliar with would interfere with that. I'm actually trying to explain this seriously. What am I an idiot? I mean it's for her to understand. Or to know more. More you know. So <laughs> See, the more she knows, she's learning, huh? But you're still planning to watch... Planning on watching the video to learn more, aren't you? One more question? Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, I thought you meant one more question. It's more questions. More questions than answers. <laughs> well, the only way to get your answers is to do it. You do it, you get answers. But then you want more, right? So you you want more answers. Aratana Gimon? Wanna try it out? The only you you'll find out if it feels if if it feels good is if you try out, you know? Coco. I don't know. I couldn't say I've never gotten one before. Oh, in before Toko's gonna say, then why don't we try it? Ah. But the girls Oh my god. Are their first hitch scene going to be Toko doing Paizuri? <laughs> wow. But this, this scene, this, I mean, this. Toko is really very unique, unlike the other Hewitt, uh, in your side. Because, because she's the one who's like, well, not, kind of like taking the, well, I'm, I'm not, taking the initiative is probably not really the right term, but she's like, she's being open minded about it. Yeah, that's the thing. Unlike the other heroines, right? Toko is actually really very open minded about Sasuke. Something you don't see in any other heroine. <laughs> it's, yeah. yeah. And that's actually pretty cool. Oh well. I suppose I'd like to experience one someday. What about now? Why not now? Come on, Shuji. And him. Warm suddenly covers the back of my hand. Here we go. And by places a hand a warm, soft hand over mine and squeezes gently. Well. Uh, yes. You look at me, I look at who? <laughs> uh, yeah, you look at me, I look at you, and what? Uh, there we go. Toko has said it. Would you like to try it out? Huh? Eh? Here we go. Oh, here we go. She's really blushing. She's really blushing now. Yeah. Senpai? To try a paizuri? Damage the mitai tape. Paizuri, wo? 
Is she seducing me here? She's definitely not teasing you here, okay, Suji? Surete. Surete. Sasoteru. Te koto. Nano ka? Yes. She wants to do it. I take my eyes off the screen and face Senpai. Her eyes are clouded. Her gaze passionate. And she's being serious here. With flushed cheeks, she gently closes her eyes. I mean, it would be great though. I mean, since Toko has... One thing is that she has the largest boobies out of all the heroines. But that's beside the point. But, but I mean, there's no denying that she has the largest boobies. Okay? <laughs> and you know, yeah. Men generally... Men generally love big boobies. Okay? There's no denying that. Okay? But because there are some rare... A number of men who like movies of all sizes. Gone into a leaf, like kiss her for a second part. Ah. Because we must calm her down with some kissing first before we go into the next stage. Paisery. Senpai. Hmm. Yeah, kiss. I don't worry for a second about her disliking it. Her returning the kiss tells me everything I need. Yes, that she wants to do it. Aizuri. My ability to sense emotions has always been a pain. Now I couldn't be more glad that, that it doesn't work on Senpai. Because we get to share special moments like this. Yeah, you're actually being a normal human. For one. Ah. I really am capable of understanding how people feel without my, without my powers. And it's not just one person understanding, it's mutual. Being able to communicate your emotions if someone feels so good. Yeah, another thing I like about Toko's route is that it feels really, really, really stick actually, unlike the other girls' roots. Because it feels, well, rather than realistic, it feels more human. There's a more human touch to it. I like the other heroines where it's like, there's a bit of, there's some supernatural feel to it because of him. One thing is that he can sense other people's emotions. But since with Toko, he cannot sense her emotion. This actually feels more like a human. If this route actually has a more human touch to it. Yeah. I get lost in how happy it makes me feel as I take pleasure in the kissing senpai. You should be able to communicate your few emotions if someone feels so good. Yeah. Future. Oh, that, that comes the deep kissing. They're actually doing it for the first time. Yeah, they have not done hip deep kissing before. This is the first time they're doing it. Yeah. Okay. Can I take your shirt off, Senpai? Here we go. The moment of truth. Yeah. The moment of truth indeed. Right. I, Shuji has the honor of taking off Toko's shirt. You raise your arms for, up for me. Actually, no, you put up. I mean, raise really means up, so. Could you raise your arms for me? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, Toko is actually blushing really, really hard here. Yeah, so. But she's okay with it. First, I have to take off this cardigan. I said I have to take off this card cardigan. Yeah. Mazu, uh, card cardigan or nuga, nuga. What? The giant press I I can't take it away. <laughs> Calm down. I can't pull it off. I didn't think this kind of thing could actually happen. Calm down. Come on, you can do this. I'm going to be a bit more forceful. Oh, okay, okay. Tsukoshi <laughs> chikara wo iremasu ne. I yank the cardigan up towards me and finally get it off. Okay. That's the cardigan only. Uh, yeah. I'm nervous thinking about what's coming up to. Yeah, oh, that's only the cardigan off. Now now comes the shirt. Okay. Oh, we we Okay, they go to the, the bedroom first for doing it. I grasp the buttons on the shirt with trembling fingers. 
I slowly and carefully undo them one by one. Then when I'm done, I see the under part to the bra. Yeah. I spread her shirt open, revealing her big, her huge boobies and the bra they kept kept in. Right. So that's the shirt is off now. Well, it's not completely off, but the, the buttons are off, basically. Yes, the buttons are off and revealing the bra. Yeah, so, and the, the big boobies. Well, I think this is still okay. I mean, I don't think I really need to, like, answer a while here, and it's not yet. Until the bra is off, anyway. Her bra is white in color, with a the yellow ribbon right there. <laughs> Very cute, and... Uh, <laughs> that's just analyzing, and she's kneeling. She's kneeling on Shuji's feet. Okay, just analyzing. <laughs> Alright. You can still go on from here. I've seen her cleavage when she wears her normal clothes and so when she wore... Oh yeah, yeah when she, she wears her normal clothes, like the, the normal casual clothes. Yeah, we saw the cleavage of very nice. Yeah. <laughs> and also when she was wearing her Halloween outfit. But to see her like this... Yeah. Her chest is even more mesmerizing like this, yeah. It's really amazing. Massive too. Not to shirt, soft and jiggly. It makes me feel like wanting to juggle them, right? Jiggle them. Huh? Uh, yeah. It's both. Both, yeah. Of course, both. Everything. Zembo. Your bra, your boobies, your fair skin. It's all beautiful. I don't know what to say. I wish I could stare at them forever. <laughs> yeah, of course. Gotta take them off. Take it off, and then you get to see her feet too. You're right. Then, excuse me. So, Reja, Chitsure Shimas. I nervously take a look at her bra. Right? So, Kincho Shinagara, Ore wa mazu bra wo takuni. Obviously, the hook's not. <laughs> yeah, it's a back, so you gotta, you know. Which means I need to unfasten it back. Am I gonna be able to pull this off? I'll just come down. You know. Jozuku hazu seru kana. Okay, just be calm. Look, you can do this. I push aside my anxiety and decide to try and slide bra off. Slide bra off, not, not take it off. I see that pretty often in all the world. So. Maybe it'll be easier. Okay, I mean, sliding the bra down off is definitely easier, yeah. Oh. oh shit. Oh shit. I guess it makes sense why it hurts because uh, boobies are big, so I kind of like gets in the way if he tries to slide the bra off. Oh, sorry, I'll stop. Asumimasen, wakarimashita. Right, so I can slide it off. Okay, so... So ka? Zurasu no wa muri ka? Now that I think about it, of course I can. The bra's so tight that it's gonna hurt it. It's gonna hurt if I try sliding it off. Yeah, it makes sense. It's like... Because her... I think her bra is like... Tight, big thing, tight. Yeah, because her boobies are like so big that it's hard to actually... For her to find a, a bra that fits her size. So this is like... Really tight, big thing. And that goes double in Senpai's case, given how big her boobies are. Hey, don't say sorry over the fact that your boobies are massive. <laughs> don't be sorry. She's sorry her boobies are massive, yeah. <laughs> but I guess you understand. it's understandable that, you know, the boobies are massive. She's like, well, I mean, it can be a problem for some girls. Like, because with massive movies, it can be quite troublesome to, yeah, you know, to work with. 
What kind of apology is that? I mean, certainly her, her boobies really are huge, but still... Never apologize for that. I, I love how big your boobies are. So, so you know you got that. Yeah, come on. Uh, well then, I'm taking off your bra. So, so Reja, bra, hazushimasu ne. Sorry, this will take just a moment. I reach around Senpai's back in search of the hook on her brass band. Yosh, koko dana? Now I just have to. Uh, are they? <laughs> are they? Eh, I don't know how to, how, how to unhook it. I can't unfasten it. I figured you just had to pinch it or something. No, you know, you know. No, you don't do that. <laughs> Not, not, it, not all bras are where you just have to pinch it. No, you, actually, you don't. I don't think normal bras are where you you pinch it in order to take it off. No. <laughs> no, you teach me, okay? Oh no, it's fine. Ah, uh, yeah, die job this. Very good, right? Jeez. <laughs> I wrap both hands around her back in resignation. I'll have to study up on how to unlock the bra one-handed for later. Oh, one-handed, huh? One-handed is a bit hard, yeah. Especially when you, uh, you're inexperienced. Yeah. With both hands, I'm able to successfully remove Senpai's bra. And... Time for the sensors. <gasps> Boing! Oh my. Oh, the bra's off. And wow, those are some really healthy rose buds. Yeah, <laughs> some really healthy and beautiful rose buds. Yeah, you get what I mean, yes? <sighs> Did that just happen? The boobies really bounce. Well, they huge, yeah, so they bounce. Everything else, oh, just shoot, they bounced. Whoa, they really do look soft. Um, Senpai, can I touch them? Um, you should. I will, of course. Hi, what you on this? Grass her massive mounds with both hands. Ah, you're kinda sweaty. I say, I say, pawn. They must be. Hmm, first timer. Hey, didn't Shuji just tell you that your boobies are amazing? Why you say your boobies are weird? <laughs> Not even little. It's too big and soft. I don't know if I'll be, I'll be able to stop modeling them. I love your movie, Senpai. Um, <laughs> <laughs> of course, not just your movies, everything about you, your whole body, and your personality, everything. Your whole package. Allow me to rephrase. I love everything about you, Senpai. It's so cute, it's so kawaii. There's nothing weird about any part of you. I lose myself in the movies, savoring every bit of them in my palms. Also remember that they're about to do Paizuri, so means Chuji's thing has to be out. Sorry if I can't hold back. Sumimasen. Demo Gamandekinakte. This is my first time feeling the peaceful softness of boobies. My sense of reason has given way to fascination and arousal. Yes, you learned that from the AV just now, right? <laughs> That's fine. The woman in the DVD did it too. Yeah, 
ずかしくて思わず我慢したくなるんだよ。Oh, is that so? It does. Now I really want to make her moan more. Oh, oh, oh. Fugakushi Senpai's eyes glass over as I massage her boobies more. An adorable redness spreads across her fair skin. Nothing to get red, okay. Adorable redness. Okay. But most noticeable of all are the little pink bots. Pink bots, yes, those rose bots pointing outwards. Suddenly, those small bumps have grown hard and are standing tall. Really? They are standing tall. <laughs> I suddenly reach a finger out to one of her rose buds. Oh, the ticklish feeling, right? I give one of her rose buds a light poke. Then I immediately stiffen up and respond. Continue playing with the voluminous boobies without taking my finger off her rose bud. Your rose buds are getting harder, Senpai. That's not because you feel you're cold, right? I'm only walking Jana in this year, eh? I, I gently draw circles around her hips too. Yes, yeah, basically like oil around. Yeah, I don't know about drawing circles around her hips, but basically she, yeah, she is like circling her his finger around, circling her his, yeah, moving his finger around her, her rosebud. Yeah, circling his finger around her rosebud. Yeah. Senpai's stiffened moans begin sounding more and more aroused. Maybe? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Act acting ignorant. Bethany, me, Ichibite, Nan, Te Imasen, yo. Squeeze one of the pink bumps between my fingers after answering. Oh, squeeze. <laughs> Senpai clenches her eyes shut and trembles. The whole body tenses up as she tries to stifle the urges growing within her. Yet her boobies remain soft and jiggly. <laughs> These are truly wondrous tutu. I'm really not meaning to. You're just so cute and your boobies are so amazing that I'm getting carried away a little. What? No, I want to fondle more. We can we can move on to Paizui later. <laughs> huh? What? Yeah, the Paizui. Well... Yeah, true. Tashkani so deshita. If we're gonna do Paisori means you're gonna see Shuji's thing for the first time, yeah? And you're gonna touch it, right? I bet. <laughs> it's embarrassing, but yeah, of course. I mean, Toko is really showing you your boobie, her boobies. As you expect, massaging Senpai's melons has made me incredibly aroused. I'm so hard that it's almost painful. Alright, let's copy that, AV. Wait, what? <laughs> are they, are they like recapping the 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 AV in their minds? Oh wait, I know that there's a TV in Shuji's room, but. They're actually playing it in Shuji's room now? <laughs> what? Oh shit, they really are. 
私の上に立ちがって。Wait. それで。You lie down and he on top of you. どうして ?And wow, I mean, usually p a i z u r i is something where the girl sits upright, right? And the guy like stands or what? And then, and then the girl will just rub. Yeah, basically move her boobies up and down with the thing between the boobies. While the, the girl is either kneeling or sitting, you know. But, but this time, but here Toko is actually gonna lie down, and then what? And then, how is she gonna move, like, back, back and forth while lying down? And then, she's just gonna, like, trust forward and backward, too. <gasps> then, if I repeat the word she just heard in the video, yeah, they're actually playing the, the AV in Suji's room right now. Yeah, in the yeah on with, with the on the TV playing on TV in Shuji's room. Crap, that was so freaking hot. <laughs> Maji de kofun suru. Her face is bright red. She may tell a lot of dirty jokes, but she's clearly not used to being so explicit. Now, those dirty jokes are really like just as a tease here. She's actually uh, she's acting completely different from. From usual, and it's incredibly cute. Ah oh, man, I have to try to be tight. Time on top of senpai, trying to remain as calm as possible. Right here comes the change of scene. Oh, oh wow, your skin is clinging to it. Oh wow, and、um, this is yeah, with. Uh, Toko basically having her shirt removed. I'm not sure if,、uh, if she has removed her skirt too. I don't think so, the looks of it. I don't think her skirt is removed. I think they're gonna do the paisuri, but I'm not sure if they're going to. Yeah, if they're gonna go for the main course. From the looks of it, probably not yet. They might to, right tonight, but. Well, it's paisuri first, and with Toko having her shirt already taken off. Yes, at the Yeah, shirt and bra all off already. The top half anyway is, ah,、uh, yeah, is all off. Probably her bottom bottom half is still on. Yeah, only her top half is really gone. Yes, yeah. So she's basically half bare. Yeah, from the top. So um, yeah, and she's actually lying down. Uh, I wonder if she's going to like lick it as well. I mean, seeing that Shuji's thing is like close to her mouth. So, well. Either way, I'm gonna like pause here for the time being, yeah, because this involves like a bit more explicit stuff. So, <laughs>、uh, yeah, okay, I'll have to like fast forward a bit here.、Uh, but I will, as usual, I will quickly summarize what happens here, and I will see you in a bit. Amazing, your omelette is fantastic, senpai. <laughs> oh, this is right after. They had saxophone, yes, as you saw earlier. <laughs> that, that, that CG a bit. Yeah, they had a really long H scene. Okay, let me tell you that they had a really long H scene before they took a break and then yeah, Toko went to make、uh, dinner, which is omelette rice, as you can see here. And it, and I guess it cuts right. Yeah, the scene basically cuts right up to after they had dinner. I thought they would be like having. We will get to see them having dinner, but no,、nope, it cuts off right from the H scene to after dinner. So, yeah.、Um, basically, to quickly summarize what happened, well, it all started with the paisuri. Well, actually, no, no, it didn't really. Yeah, it all started with as we saw earlier. She took off her shirt and and Shuji took off her bra, and then they went into the paisuri thing. So the paisuri thing. Obviously, this is the first time they were both doing it, and then uh, <laughs> then you know Toko said something really hilarious. She said something like, "Is this dark milk?" <laughs> By dark, I mean the、uh, di, you know, like the thing. <laughs> she she actually referred to it as milk, you know. <laughs> yeah. Then Toko, then when when some liquid, some transparent liquid, you know, came out of Shuji's thing, <laughs> Toko said. Oh, so this is milk, which, well, um, Suji obviously said no, it's not milk. It's it's actually pre-milk. 
yeah, you know, premium. <laughs> so, uh, and then after that, basically, then, you know, Shuji then proceeds to soak Toko's belly, and they actually, and they're actually like doing it while they're watching the the AV, you know, on the TV. Yeah, they're actually doing it while they're watching. <laughs> so the AV was actually like playing in the in the background or you know, in the TV. Yeah, and they and and they're basically doing the paisuri, and then yeah. So as they're doing it, Toko said something like, you know, having big boobies can be a real pain sometimes, but it's all worth it. Yeah, if, if Shuji likes them. Yeah, but I can understand that it can be a real pain for women because it's like, very hard to manage. And yeah, you know. But when it comes to saxophone, it's a different thing, yeah. And then after that, uh, Shuji thought that the stimulation, right, by, by uh, Toko, the Paisuri, is actually somewhat weak. But uh, yes. But the 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 sight of her before him, and the feeling of him dominating her, more than make up for that weak stimulation, according to Shuji, and uh, and also the fact that finally gets to be intimate with her, that's more than enough to make it make this you know stimulation like so so exciting, you know, yeah then. Toko said that, you know, Shuji's thing is twitching and that it's so cute. And then, yeah. So, and then after that, the TV, the AV went, uh, goes on to show the guy using, not, uh, not the guy, the, the girl, I mean, using not just her boobies, but also her mouth. And that's when Toko said, oh, should I, you know, kiss it too? <laughs> uh, Shuji said, no, it's dirty. But Toko is like, no, it's not dirty, it's cute. You know, it's not dirty at all. Yeah, and so that's when she decided to not just do a paisuri, but also the mouth as well. So it's double stimulation, yes. Mouth and, yeah, basically mouth and boobies. <laughs> and then, yeah, Shuji was like, you know, like trying to hold back here, yeah, hold back his urge. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, because, because he thought that he could stop her by being honest. So he tells, he honestly tells, uh, Toko that he's trying to hold back but then Toko, Toko smiles seductively and well, he went in, she went even faster actually she went even faster than the girl at the TV <laughs> and she was just like if you keep moving up I'm going to come here and Toko's like hey, come on, can go away look the guy in the TV is also coming here too <laughs> so then that's when well, he just let out let out his milk and he did it like the guy then uh after that, then, you know, like, Shuji said things like, I might come here again because you're too sexy. Actually, during the Paisuri alone, Shuji actually came here twice. Yeah, he did that. He really did that. He, he came here twice. <laughs> so, like, okay, the second time, it's like, to Toko is like, Shuji said, I might come here again because you're too sexy. And Toko is like, really? Then, I have to take responsibility as Toko herself and proceeds to kiss and suck even more. <laughs> And Shuji commented that she's so cute and, and she's so hot and Toko is like, you're so cute. Yeah, then eventually, again, a second time. And then, uh, Toko is like, I love milk. It really is tasty. Even though it's bitter, it's tasty. <laughs> yeah, and Shuji hasn't kind like, of calmed down yet, but eventually, uh, once all is done, you know, Paizu is over. Then Toko said, like, Paizu is over. Then to Shuji is like, what? Over? Oh, you mean the video? Because then the video moves on to doggy style. <laughs> yes, the, the main cause, the main position. Main cause, which is in the doggy style, doggy position. So Toko then looks at Shuji and says something like, no, if my melons aren't enough, yes, my two boobies, my two melons aren't, aren't enough, then we only have one option, right? Which is the main cause. And Shuji says something like, in his mind, he said uh, he stated something like, "It's too much of a virgin to back up." So that's when they went to the main course with Toko exactly the doggy style and on the bed, of course, and with Toko holding holding the the, the pillow really tight. Yeah, should this pillow really tight? And as Toko says something like, "It's all your fault. I'm turned on like this. You know, so you better take responsibility all the way to the end." And then. But before the actual main cause, Shuji first like puts his face closer to the, to the main part 
okay, uh, Toko Smith but smelled it and he said that it smells nice. You know, Toko is like, no, you're lying. You should let me shower first. I can still go shower if I want to. Then Toko, then Shuji starts to dig it. And then, <laughs> then she, he says something like, I'll say, your omelette rice is tasty. <laughs> she said it in a really like, like, a, in a kind of a sexual in, a, in a other way. Then she, uh, yeah, because, because Toko like kind of like teased earlier and said that you said it sounded dirty, so that's why he, he referenced, you know, Toko's thing as the omelette rice. <laughs> Okay, then after that, after uh, a lot of moving here and there, then there's the option whether to go inside or outside. Well, since he already did it outside twice, so third time is inside. And Toko's fine with it. So after the, all that said and done, after the end of it all, Toko then asks which is better for you, for you, for Shuji, movies or main course. Shuji's like, no, both. I like everything. I like to be inti intimate with you, you know. Then Toko's like, well, aren't you really? Let me rest a bit, you know. Okay. And she said, yeah, let me rest a bit, a bit. I, I'll get on with making dinner in just a bit. And Shuji agrees, uh, saying that he also needs to rest a bit. That's why then we come to here. And so, we're going to continue a bit. Yeah. Uh, more? Yeah, since I think it's going to be. And yeah, with them, I think sleeping overnight probably. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, we're still at chapter 6-7. I mean, it's great. It's great, you know. You'll be happy. Oh, are you still thinking about the soccer program? Your first time together with Chuji? Huh? That was a strange reaction. Do you not like it? But something else is on your mind, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. I said earlier. I mean, you you had fun, right? Your first time with Shuji. Oh my god. Ah. Yeah, I got a little carried away there. Sorry, I said something weird. Huh. Saxophone and food are two things that don't belong together. I beg to differ. I mean, you can sort of like eat a person. <laughs> But your omelette rice really is good, okay? and I mean it. Yeah, I'm glad I asked you to do it. Asked you for it. Alright. I know how you feel. So the kimochi yoku wakarimas. Yeah, let's do it again. <laughs> no, I think I'm done for the day. Oh, wow, why? I'm completely empty. <laughs> no more, no more, no more energy in the bladder. <laughs> I think that's definitely more than usual because you really turned Shuji on, Toko. Way more than usual. I had no idea I could do that. Even they were odori. Odokimashita. Odorokimashita. そっか。あれはすごい量なんだ。確かに正規の匂いで頭がクラクラしちゃうくらいだったもんね。そう、smell <笑> When it comes to saxophone related talk, <laughs> she doesn't hold back at all. I'm glad I'm using using ketchup instead of mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise, yeah, mayonnaise is white, so 
That's just how much I like you. And how special you are to me, Senpai. Demo? Demo what? But? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you should call her by her name now. Not Senpai anymore. Uh, Sorewa. She has a point. We're dating, we've kissed, and we've even had saxophone. We should probably be on more familiar terms. We should be on a first name basis by now. Senpai's name is Togakushi Toko, so Toko. Toko san. san. Don't say san, just Toko. Sorry, but I can't drop the honor very quick so sudden. Come on, Toko is really open minded, so you should be open minded too, should you? Everyone approaches relationships different. I mean, do you actually dislike it that much? Yeah, when she said, when, when Shuji said dislike it, it's like, he meant dislike uh, you being caught Toko san, you know? <laughs> okay, call me Hoshi. <laughs> Hoshi? That's a pretty normal nickname, isn't it? Though if that's what you want to call me, Toko San, then I don't mind. I really can't get used to dropping the honorific. It might be too much for me. Yeah. Sounds familiar, I remember it, Tsubugi's route. She also called him like Shu Shukun or something like that, but it's not really Shukun. Shuji or something like that. But it's not dragged out the U, W, it's just Shuji. Huh? No one's ever called me that before. Shukun, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah, go right ahead, Toko san. Okay. Shukun, then. Shukun. Shukun. Shukun ka. It's the first time anyone's come up with such an intimate nickname for me. Until now, Shuji is the most intimate thing anyone's called me. Shukun? Toko san? <laughs> Toko san? Sorry if I pressed a bit too quickly, my, my, my mouse button decided to be weird for some reason. Uh, Paris. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Ahaha, <laughs> it's what Shuji is, is tough, this thing. Yeah, but it's cool. Yeah, it is. I couldn't stop myself from laughing. Being called a name you're not used to is incredibly embarrassing. But that doesn't stop a certain warmth and happiness from filling my chest. So both physically and emotionally and mentally. So that's name. <laughs> Yeah, but this is where the problems are gonna... The, the main issue at, in, of Tokosura is gonna happen. Well, we still don't know the, the main... Well, I wouldn't say a problem, but we still don't know the thing about the mystery of Toko. Remember what... Uh, when, remember that one time when uh, Shuji went to consult uh, Nanao about why he, he Toko is like the only person he can't you know, detect. Yeah, you can smell or rather taste the uh, emotions. Yeah, but that mystery is still not solved yet. So that is the big mystery that's gonna happen. That's probably gonna cause some conflict or what. And after this first scene, so we'll see what's up. 
that wouldn't be so bad. We both like each other, so maybe that'll happen eventually. Please stay with me too. Huh? Alright. Senpai smiles and nods. When I see that radiant smile on her face, my chest tightens up so much, it almost becomes hard to breathe. Alright, let's do that. No, I'll do that. Yeah, Katatsuke Gurai wa oregashimasu yo. <laughs> what do you mean by that? You came, you, you mean you started everything, you started the sus. <laughs> never mind, never mind. <laughs> I, I guess she meant like she started the cooking, so I, she should be the one to clean up, finish it up, no, by cleaning up as well. Finish everything from start to end. Well, I guess if that's what you want, I'm not gonna stop you. Toko san ga soite kureru nara. Omakase shite mo ii desu ka? Hmm, arigato. Sore jya, sasuku. Are? Kore te. Ah, what, what, what's what? Well, what's the matter, Toko san? Doka shimashita desu ka? Toko san? Or rather, doka shita desu ka? Toko san? Yeah. Senpai stares at the photo placed on the table. Oh, she notices uh, Chuji's mother's photo. Oh crap, I forgot to put away the photos. It's fine though. Oh, but this is where the, the start of where maybe Toko will actually find this woman familiar. Remember that she has some kind of connection to Toko because remember that one, there's one time when Chuji's dad commented that Toko's cooking tastes a lot like yeah, Shuji's mom's cooking. Yeah. It's not like I need to eat them to hide them really, but her seeing them is kind of embarrassing. Oh shit. She said, who is this? This photo? And then the music stops. Oh no. Some kind of revelation is going to happen here. Seems like it. Oh man. I don't know if this is good or bad, but this is a big revelation. Sound seems like that's my mom. Oreno Kasan Desuyo. Wait shit. Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I I'm some uh suddenly something occurs to me. Something I I that might this might sound kind of shocking, but I should just say it. What if Shuji's mom was Toko's mom? <laughs> I mean, like, like maybe Toko's mom is actually like, yeah. What if what if Toko and Shuji actually share the same mom? I mean, like Toko is like, yeah, given birth by her by Shuji's mom, but with a different father. Holy shit! If that's the case. It might explain why Shuji wasn't able to read Toko's, uh, wasn't able to taste Toko's emotions. Because I don't think Shuji was able to taste her, his mother's emotions, right? Yeah. Yeah, make, which makes sense. So that would then also explain why he was, he isn't able to taste Toko's emotions. Okay, but let, let's see what happened. Yeah. I'm feeling Toko actually knows this lady. She might, yeah, I think this, this lady might actually be Toko's mom too, no? Shit. What's the matter? Something bothering you? Toko-san picks up the photo then stare, and stares at it from up close. What's gotten into her? Honto kyuni doshitan da, doshitan Yeah, she saw her before. You mean my mom? I was only a kid when I had to say goodbye to her. When you had to say goodbye to her, I said, when she passed away, passed on. I was too young to have formed many memories of her. I really don't know anything about her. But Toko seems to have seen her before. Senpai is older than me, but only by a year. Could she have known my mom? And looking at the photo was enough to make her remember? I mean, some people can, can remember well, you know. Um, 
Are you sure you're not getting her mixed up with someone else? My mom died over 10 years ago. You dream of her every day? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Huh? You're saying my mom appears in your dreams? Huh. Uh, okay, rather than appear, what do you mean? That's strange. Now that now things are starting to take on a supernatural turn. Holy shit. 